Hello, in this presentation I will introduce the MiArm robot, a low cost, 3 degrees of freedom with the gripper. In this first presentation I will introduce robot, while in the next videos I will provide assembly instructions, connection diagrams and programming instructions for the robot. Therefore the aims of this particular presentation are to show the MiArm robot and its variants. I will discuss about the electronics that can be used to control this robot in particular, I will introduce the UPV version, a variant that we have made that includes all the electronics inside the robot. There are different versions of the same robot as a consequence of several improvements over time. We will focus on the UPV version, which is based on version 3 pocket size, where the main improvement is that we have redesigned the robot to create spaces to allocate the electronics inside the robot. Here you can see some images of different versions of the robot. As you can see, all of them are based on the same type of robot, but their dimensions and some of the parts are different. Also, some of the versions include assembly instructions or video tutorials that will help you to build this robot. Here I have included the links to assembly instructions that I have considered the most relevant ones. For the version 3 UPB, you have a full manual with all assembly instructions, connection diagrams, and coding examples. The link for these instructions is provided indeed in the video description. In the video, you can see an example of a typical pick and place application that allows you to pick an object and place it in another position. The main difference between the UPP version and the version 3 pocket size as you can see, is that the electronics are mounted in the robot. Next, I will mention some of the electronics that you can use to control this robot. The microcontroller is one of the fundamental elements that we must choose and will condition the selection of the rest of the components. If you choose an Arduino based uh, on the ATmega386 processor, like Arduino Uno or Nano, then you can program the robot through the USB port. However, if you choose, for instance, a microcontroller with Wi-Fi such as the ESP01, Node MCU, or any development board based on the ESP32, then you will be able to program the robot over Wi-Fi and also to control it remotely through the Wi-Fi. ESP microcontrollers are generally cheaper and have better performance than classic Arduinos. Regarding the motors, we will use 9G servos. It is a standard servo motor size with multiple compatible alternatives such as SG90, TS90M or MG90S servos. All of them can be used in this robot, being the SG90 the cheapest ones, while the MG90 servos motors have higher torque than the SG90 but are somehow more expensive. My recommendation is to use a servo controller for instance such as the PC PCA, sorry, 9685, or the TurboBot board, among others, because in this way you can provide an independent power supply to move the servo motors. In the end, they will consume a non-negligible current. So if you don't want to use a servo controller, then you can control the servos using an expansion board to provide the proper signals connection for the servos. For instance, in that case, there are some expansion boards that you can use that are compatible with Arduino Nano or Arduino Uno. The power supply system of a robot is essential to proper operation. 9 volts battery or 1.5 volts battery packs are a valid option for this robot and they are quite cheap indeed. However, if you intend to use the robot for long-term use, then you need batteries that can be recharged. For this reason, my recommendation is to use a power bank providing at least 5 volts and if it's possible, also 3 volts in case you use this ESP01 processor. The main advantage of a power bank is that it includes all the electronics to charge an internal lithium battery and the required voltage elevation circuit to provide the standard 5 volts voltage. I particularly recommend to use the power bank for 60 340 batteries, which is the one that I use in the UPV version because it's reduce size. Another very popular option is to use LiPo batteries, however, to provide the required voltage for the servos, you 
you will need at least uh, S2 LiPo batteries, which requires a charger, which is not non-cheap, so please take in, that into account. Not all power banks will provide the current supply you need. Most of them can provide up to one amp, but my recommendation is to provide at least between two or three amps. Build the robot, we need some materials. On the one hand, we use three millimeter thick laser cutting parts. They can be made of wood, although you can make them also from plastic. In addition, you need some electronics. In particular, I propose to use an Arduino board with four 9G servos and a small power bank for the 16340 battery. Although it is also possible to use other type of electronics such as the ESP01 board with a PCA9685 servo controller. In the next videos, we will discuss how to program these electronics. In the video description, I provide the links to the CAD files for the UPB version designed in SOLIDWORKS. These files are also available in Thingiverse. Together with the robot, I have prepared a set of video tutorials explaining how to simulate this robot and even to emulate the behavior of the real robot in Copilisim, a simulation environment. So instead of moving the real robot, you can move the simulated one to validate the movements before they are executed in the real robot. In this presentation, I have introduced the Mian robot and, in particular, the UPV version. In the following videos, I will explain how to assemble, how to connect it, and how to program it, and also even how to simulate and emulate this robot. Thank you very much.